students with poor A-level results should be banned from borrowing money to pay for university. That's according to a group of 30 Tory MPs. The New Conservatives say they want to redirect funding towards apprenticeships in order to stop underperforming teenagers studying what they call Mickey Mouse degrees. Uh, joining me now is Mark Lehane, Head of Education at the Centre for Policy Studies. Hi there, Mark. And a former Special Advisor at the Department of Education. And also Nick Hillman, Director of the Higher Education Policy Institute. Let's start with you, Mark. Good evening to you. So the idea is, I suppose, that if students haven't performed well in their A-levels, they're prevented from taking out a big old student loan with which they'll be burdened for the rest of their lives, I suppose, because the verdict is, well, you're not academically gifted possibly not suited to higher education, do something else, you know, do, do, do something that requires an apprenticeship instead. Does that make any sense to you? Well, I don't think it's necessarily saying that those students they're talking about aren't academically gifted or that they shouldn't go to university. It's more about saying that people should be wise to, if they go to university, they're not always going to make as much money as they think. Something like 20% of people that get degrees, uh, the Institute for Fiscal Studies has found, they actually earn less than if they hadn't gone to university at all. So what you end up with is those people with significant student debts, which they're probably never going to pay off, but it is going to be a burden to them throughout their working life as they pay those student loan contributions that they have to make through tax. So I think what these MPs are trying to look at is, we have to look at university as like a partnership between the student themselves, the universities and the taxpayer, the government. And we've got to try and work out what is the best use of that money that we're using to subsidise, um, subsidise and go to university. And might it be better if some of that money could go towards apprenticeships and therefore you've got to work out who doesn't go to university in order to free that money up. But it's not an easy thing to do. There are, there are good arguments all around for this. I mean, some people will think the whole point of university is supposed to separate the academic wheat from the chaff. If you're not academically gifted, if you're not suited to uh, uh, further study, you shouldn't be there in the first place. And that these so-called Mickey Mouse degrees shouldn't exist at all. They should be eradicated, eliminated. Universities should be prohibited from offering offering pretty worthless, time-wasting, money-wasting degrees to pupils who haven't managed to do well in A-levels. That should be uh, stopped immediately. It shouldn't be the pupils who are penalised. It shouldn't be anything to do with student loans, but everything to do with the standard of degrees and the standard required for university admission. But it's not so much about separating the wheat from the chaff, I don't think. I think it's more about getting horses for courses. And for some people, for a while now... Sorry, let me roll back a minute. Listen, we've done a great job in this country of expanding university to way more young people than ever before. And a wider range of people from different backgrounds than ever before have gone off to university, and that is a good thing. Now, that's come with a big cost to the taxpayer and, of course, the student debt that goes with that. I think we're in a better place than places, say, like Scotland, where they pay for... The, they pay... Uh, the government pays the tuition fees, the students don't, but far fewer people go off to university, particularly from poorer backgrounds. They've not made those strides forward. But the question is, for that 20% of students or others who go off to university but don't earn more money as a result and are saddled with that debt, is there a better way of trying to encourage them to do something that might be more appropriate for them or that they might enjoy more? Or is an apprenticeship the better thing to do? So it's not that apprenticeships aren't as good as degrees. They're equally valuable routes. It's just what's the better route for those people and also the taxpayer. There'll be many people questioning this measuring device of do they earn more money or don't they earn more money? Many people thinking, well, they may have gone to university and they may have experienced all kinds of things, met all kinds of people, enjoyed a kind of social mobility that they wouldn't have done had they not attended. They will have discovered interests. They will have broadened their horizons. You know, many, many things that are uh, often the result of a university education, which have nothing to do with whether you earn more or less than you would have earned if you didn't go. Absolutely right. The question is, is that something that should receive the subsidy of the student loans for those young people? And that's a genuine debate that we should be having. And I'm glad we're going to be having that debate, because, like I said, it's not just that the taxpayer has to pick up the, uh, the, the debt that doesn't get paid off and all of us have to end up paying that down. But also those young people are stuck paying student loan repayments for a long, long time, having done a course that maybe they didn't enjoy so much or they haven't benefited from in quite the way that they expected. Let's bring Nick Hillman into all of this, Director of the Higher Education Policy Institute. Nick, you've been listening very patiently. I appreciate that. Do you think these new Conservatives have the right idea if pupils don't achieve a certain amount, uh, uh, you know, a certain level of grade as a benchmark, then they shouldn't be uh, eligible for a student loan? They should find something else to do. 
No, I don't really, because I think it should be up to universities to decide who studies at each institution, not a group of backbench members of parliament. Look, if there are really low quality courses out there, of course they shouldn't exist. Mm. And we have a regulator who can stop them from existing. But when a university wants to take a student, it's because it thinks that student will benefit from the course that it's offered a place on. Um, and also, of course, don't forget that sometimes things go wrong when people are taking their A-levels. You, Someone has a bereavement or they lose their way as a young person and come back to education later on. So to have a black and white rule that anyone with low A-level grades can't go to university seems to me very odd. And to then direct them towards apprenticeships seems to me even odder because I thought what they wanted to do was raise the standard and prestige of apprenticeships, not put people on them that they slightly randomly decided not good enough to go to university. I suppose it's odd to hear you say, you know, why would bad A-levels be the benchmark that would stop you going to university? I think most people think that is exactly the thing that stops you going to university. Just as if you, you know, if you if you back into a bus while you're parking, you don't pass your driving test. Well, if you don't do well in your A-levels, you don't go to university. And if you're suffering a bereavement or terrible hay fever or something else, you retake. You retake until you do get the required standard and then you go and only then you go. Well, look, what universities are looking for is potential. And they, that's why they get people to fill in UCAS forms with personal statements and have references from their teachers and all sorts of additional information beyond uh, exam results. Or, or let me give you another example. What if you lose your way as a young person? I don't know. You join the army for 10 years and then you come out and you want another go at education. You may have had terrible A-level results, but you may be a very good prospect as a student and even as a future leader. Why would we stop those sorts of people from accessing higher education when they could benefit the country having done so?